My brother and I built an A-frame greenhouse over the summer. I wanted to make a video detailing that process. It's a little tricky because we built it in a couple different variations. We started with four foot by eight foot and then expanded it to eight foot by eight foot. We used a metal fence plate system for the foundation. We're really pleased with how that turned out. We don't have any wood touching the ground. Combine that with using cedar and rigid plastic and this thing should last a while. We quickly found out that using a longer 4x4 was a lot easier to get it out once the fence post was driven into the ground. We used brackets on top of the 4x4s to secure the 4x6 to the 4x4. We leveled the 4x6 and measured the next 4x4. We cut off the excess 4x6 with the Sawzall. We learned that it was better to measure the 4x6 prior and then use the miter. We left an overhang on the inside to frame the door to the inside of the 4x6. Once the 4x6s were in place, we measured the ends and capped them with a 2x6. This is the final variation, the 8 foot by 8 foot. We're very pleased with the size. We can fit three nice beds while also not having too much space uh, so it still heats up pretty well. We framed out the end to fit a vent in and we also used that wall to run the ridge beam support off of. We held the ridge beam up, leveled it out, and then measured down for the support size. Once we had that, we secured the ridge beam and were ready for rafters. The following morning, I laid out my tape and measured to the center of where the rafters were going to go. I also did that for the ridge beam. Having that made it a lot easier once the rafters were cut to get them in place properly. Before we did that, we threw a 2x4 inside the 2x6 to have something to fasten the rafter to. You could use a 2x6, we just chose 2x4 to save on lumber. There's the final shot of the ridge beam, right before we lay some rafters. We traced the original angle, then measured uh, the bottom of the ridge beam to the inside of the rafters. Uh, they seem to work pretty well. We are no, by no means professionals, but they seem to fit. Once we had one, it was a pretty easy process. We traced them from there and then Got them hung up. Here we are doing the last of the second side. had some excess cedar left over from cutting the rafters so we decided to put a couple blocks in to, to support the ridge beam further and then connect the rafters to each other. There's the final look before we throw some purlins on it and hang plastic. The eight foot by eight foot greenhouse, we went with one by threes as purlins to secure the plastic to. Uh, and the original four foot by eight foot, we did two, four, two by four blocking uh, between the rafters. The one by three was a lot smoother, a lot easier and less time consuming. And it was a lot uh, better fit with the plastic. We're ready for plastic. The plastic went on very easy. Uh, the end was a little tricky. We had to cut a sheet in half, but it wasn't that bad. And we're happy with how it turned out.
the teamwork made it a truly enjoyable process. We used one inch barn screws with the rubber gasket. They worked well. Here's a shot. There's a little gap. Um, you could run a one by three between the purlins, but we decided since we were covering it with the gable caps to just leave it. We resecured our rainwater collection. Uh, it's just a piece of old roofing and a hose we had laying around. We have a more in-depth video on how we kind of constructed that. I will link that and also we are going to do something a little bit different for the collection for the bed in the back and then we'll be making a video on that process as well. Once that was on, we were ready to lay the bottom plastic. Uh, we needed something to secure the bottom of the plastic too, so we ran these two by fours. Ideally, we would have ran a two by four across the whole backside, but we didn't have one long enough. It is not shown, but I did go back and put a longer lag screw in for extra support. We hung the ridge cap. Uh, we cut that a little short, so we might have to redo it, but again, we are not professionals. Same with the gable caps. Our metal work is not the best, but it uh, we should get the job done. There's an inside shot. Uh, we are very pleased with how it turned out. Should have some decent growing space when it cools down here. And there's the outside look. Um, again, very pleased with how it turned out. Would definitely do it again. Uh, hope this video was useful. Throw some questions in the comments and we will answer them to the best of our ability.